I think the machines took away my feelings. Uh, just numb. Our end goal is to make pokies safer. Uh, pokies are dangerous items in the community. I hope that they take the design features out of the machines and I hope that a lot of people wake up to the deception and then they don't gamble on them. Adelaide Shonica Guy is a single mum who lives in a rental house. She's probably the last person you'd expect to take on billionaire James Packer's Crown Casino and one of the world's biggest poker machine manufacturers, Australia's aristocrat leisure. I've always wanted to do something, take some action, but I just didn't know how. And when this opportunity came, I just jumped at the chance. So today, Shonica's lawyers, Morris Blackburn, launch federal court proceedings claiming aristocrat and Crown are cheating gamblers using their gaming machines. This is public interest litigation where we're, we're trying to demonstrate that there is misleading and deceptive conduct in, in, inherent in the way that these machines are manufactured and that the effect of that really is to encourage the kind of addiction that we all see um, kind of destroying lives across Australia. Morris Blackburn's Jacob Verghese says in particular the litigation will focus on this popular slot machine called Dolphin's Treasure. There's three features that we're focused on. Uh, what, what's happened is uh, some academics have taken apart a machine called Dolphin Treasure and looked at how it works. And we've, we've, we've determined that there are three things in that design that are misleading and deceptive. In particular, how the machine tricks users into thinking they are getting close to a win. People will be familiar that the machine has reels that go around and you win if the symbols on, on the relevant line line up and you get a prize. The reels are designed such that the fifth reel is substantially bigger than the other four. So there's a symbol on there that's the sunrise symbol. You get five of those in a row and you win the big prize. But if you're playing that time and time again, you'll see the sunrise symbol comes up relatively frequently on reels one to four, but reel five is the big one stacked against you. Uh, there's only one sunrise symbol on that, but it's much bigger, so the chances of winning the actual five in a row is much smaller than a person would think. Also, the distribution of symbols isn't even. The second feature, the symbols themselves are distributed very unevenly. So take another prize, you might win a smaller prize if you get three or four kings in a row. And what you'll see is the first reel might have, say, seven kings on it, but the second reel has only one. And so you can't really, you know, the chances of getting a three in a row are much smaller than if you're just paying attention to the number of kings coming up on that first reel. So if people compared this gaming machine to playing cards, they would call it outright cheating. I think it's like playing a game of cards where uh, you know there's seven uh, ace of spades uh, and then four queen of hearts you know it's just it's a rigged pack. When you were playing them were you chasing a win or were you just hypnotized by the lights? Oh, both. I think both at different times when when you've put so much money in and then you you think, oh, 50, I'll just put another 50 in and I'm sure to get the games or I'm sure to get the money back. Shonika says she doesn't even want to estimate how much she has pumped through pokies, but she does know how much of her life they have taken away. 14 years of my life's gone and I can't get that back. No amount of money is going to replace that. Seven years ago, through her own research and the help of Pokies Anonymous, she kicked her addiction and hasn't touched a machine since. But now, she wants to help others. Even the marketing, they design, they, they say that they're fun and entertainment. Well, I don't think they're any fun at all. They're traps for people. Uh, they lure you in. As soon as you touch it, I think it's very dangerous to, ch to touch a poker machine. As soon as you touch it, you could get hooked. And that's what I didn't know. I didn't know that they were addictive. Crown says it will vigorously defend any claim, while Aristocrat denies its machines are addictive or designed to deliberately dupe players. Aristocrat emphatically rejects any suggestions that its games are designed to encourage problem gambling or in any way fail to comply with relevant regulations and laws. But if Shonica's case is successful, this world-first litigation will have far-reaching implications. It could even lead to a multi-million dollar compensation claim. We think if we, if we get a court to 
to say that there is misleading and deceptive conduct in those design features, that'll have huge ramifications for the way that pokey machines are manufactured and designed.